we in the legislature must have the courage to stand up to the bully on the block, the National Rifle Association. I'm here today to urge you, all of you, to stand up to the National Rifle Association, to refuse their campaign contributions, to refuse to do their bidding on this issue. If this bill is law, violent deaths will not occur in the state of California next year that otherwise would have. Thank you. The stage now set, the strategy in place. California's coalition of anti-gun bureaucrats admitting their outright assault on the Second Amendment and its champion, the NRA. The year, 1989. The new law, banning a long list of semi-automatic firearms. The first in the country and the model used for the 1994 Clinton-Gore assault weapons ban. But California's momentum drives on. In 10 years, gun control has become a cottage industry. Expanding the semi-automatic ban, this time to include characteristics, not just model number or name. One handgun a month, a ban on small affordable handguns, a proposed massive licensing and registration scheme for all new handgun buyers, and in L.A. County, a push to ban the sale of ammunition. Whether it's ammunition or whether it's registration, or whether it's uh, adding a new uh, firearm to the assault weapon ban, every one of them is just another chip away. Ultimate goal is uh, citizen disarmament. It's, that's what they're pushing toward. They're not, none of this has anything to do with crime. I'm sickened by the things that are being taken from us, that our, our liberties are being stripped. How are we to protect ourselves? Personal freedoms stolen by misleading politicians pledging false promises. First, let me say what this legislation does not do. It does not infringe on the rights of legitimate sportsmen. False promises that have now turned into cries for prohibition. If people have a weapon like this, the law enforcement officials can confiscate the weapon, charge the individual, and then the prosecution could take place. You can't trust the government anymore. They've always said they'd never do it, there's nothing to worry about, and it's a big fat lie. Rely on us, the government will protect you, will take care of you, and it's just a bunch of bull. Gun control is a bunch of garbage, used almost entirely to gain political votes. Uh, the long-term effect is that we lose a very valuable freedom. A political agenda forcing law-abiding citizens to obey laws that they can't even understand. Laws that have been expanded, rewritten, and redefined again and again, but still with no clear definition. Turning gun owners into victims and criminals all at the same time. The result? Mass confusion. I hate to look over my shoulder all the time and worry about, you know, am I doing something wrong? They pass so many laws so fast you can't keep up with anything they're doing. You have, nobody has a clue is what's legal and what isn't legal. An average citizen could sure get locked up in a hurry for, for having the wrong gun and uh, locked up in his trunk or whatever. The law-abiding citizen um, who is unfamiliar with the law, they could become instant felons here in a few months, and they're not even going to know it. They're not making anybody any safer. All they're doing is taking people that want to target practice, recreational use of firearms, and making them criminals. Worse yet? When concerned gun owners try to find out what's legal and what's not, they can't get an answer. Lawyers admit they're even confounded by the law. The state of California has had more changes in their interpretations of the new assault weapons law than most of us attorneys can count. They're confused. They don't even know what they're doing. And when gun owners call ATF directly or the California Attorney General's office, they can't get a straight answer from them either. You get shuffled through four different people to get an answer, and when you do get an answer, it's vague. Even California police and sheriff's deputies are baffled. How can they enforce laws they don't understand and without the manpower they need? I could walk you into the police department down here, and I could get you 100, 200 cops, and I will bet you a month's salary that less than 1% of them will have any idea if I put two weapons in front of them, which is illegal and which is not illegal. I have gun owners that will uh, ask me when I'm out giving a speech, this type of weapon, and they'll define it for me. Can I carry it? Can I own this weapon? 
And frankly, I don't know the answer to that question. If we spent all of our time trying to enforce all the local, state, federal laws that we have now for firearms and ammunition and the rest, we'd have no time to catch murderers, rapists, real, real criminals. It's, there's so many of those laws and so few of us. The power of confusion and contradiction, calculating politicians with a method behind their anti-gun madness, hassling and harassing gun owners into giving up their guns. It'll just become too difficult, too difficult, too expensive, too much liability. Many people are just saying, uh, they've won, I give up, and uh, it's not worth owning a firearm. The uh, irrational gun laws that we have now are not designed for public safety. They're designed to keep people from entering the shooting sports out of fear. My daughter, you know, she's six and a half years old now. I'd like for her to get into the shooting sports if that's what she wants to do. Five years down the road, is she going to be able to do that? Probably not with the way the legislation is going. America's cherished Second Amendment freedoms now on trial. Haunting images that once seemed worlds away have found a port of entry, California. And the anti-gun forces at work believe if gun owners here can be brought to their knees, the rest of the nation will soon follow. California is just a testing ground. If, if they get a foothold here, they, they have a tremendous, tremendous impact on the rest of the nation. If people think that gun ownership cannot be taken away from them by the simple vote of an elected official, they're wrong. Eventually, we're just going to end up like Australia, and their crime rate went way up after they took away all the guns. Better wake up pretty soon, because they're coming to get them. Yeah. And it doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter whether they have a good reason, a bad reason, anything else. The tools that they're using in California to advance their agenda here are going to be shipped out of state. It's coming soon to a neighborhood near you.